In this video guys, we're gonna look at the MP fake out reversal setup for swing traders. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm well, welcome to you. All right, so this one is a setup for swing traders. It's a reversal type pattern. So we're looking for a low and we're trying to find when we feel that low is reversed into the upside and we just flip on its head uh, to the downside. Now this is different to the range break fake out strategy. We've got the filters and rules for that one if you wanna go and check that one out. This is more broad, it's relatively simple, but I like to use this in conjunction with some other things as well. So if you've identified momentum ignition, for example, and you're using a pullback trade, this might add to it. But if you're not even interested in that whatsoever, this is still quite useful to maybe take profits on your shorts, to maybe initiate longs, to maybe even have a bias for the next day on the long side. So what are the rules? So what we're looking for here is some kind of move lower, we get a low put in, and then the second day we break the low, it does a fake out type situation and then reverses. Now, there's some key rules that we're interested in with this, and we'll look at the intraday chart in a moment. Number one is we have to have some prior signs of support or strength. So we're not looking to trade this in a downtrend, we're looking to trade this in either a range bound condition, or we've had some prior support before, or we have a situation where we're pulling back after a drive high, like I mentioned earlier, if you're using the first pullback type trade, where it's a first type of move lower. So we're not literally just trying to you know, buy in front of a, of a steam train here. We're saying, okay, we've already got some strength. Now we're trying to time when we're gonna get a continuation of the move back to highs. And so in this scenario, this example we've got here, we've got some prior support here and it's tested again. And then the subsequent test is what we're looking for. This candle here is a trigger candle. So we've got a new low on uh, day one, if you like here. And then on day two here, this is what we're looking for. So day two, the second day low, is a break of the previous day's low and then a reverse. Now's a good time to look at the intraday chart. That's approximately what these candles would look like. Started at highs, went to lows, closed here. So we had a low put in here, and this is the low we're drawing. Day two, we kind of open up pretty much where we were. Uh, we take out the low of the prior day, which is the candle penetrating there, come back up and close at highs. That's giving us approximately what those candles would look like. It's this point here that we're interested in. We're taking out that second day low, and well, so the first day low and reversing on the second day. The third thing is we're either gonna go long on the close, so we take the close here and we go long, or if you're more aggressive and you happen to be at the screen, you've got a bit of a day trader in you, you would take it as it breaks through back up there. So again, you don't want to probably take it the instant it breaks it. So maybe you're going to use a 15 minute candle, for example. And as soon as you get a 15 minute close above that low after penetrating through it, then you can take it. Rules for your stops and limits, fairly, very simple guys. Uh, whilst we've taken the long position here in this example here, we have a stop under this low, so our stop would be here. That would be our stop, and it would be the most recent low. And doesn't matter, that could be that could have gone way lower than reverse. It doesn't matter. You're still going to have it under that low, and your targets is going to be at least three times your stop. Now, if you've got a very obvious place for it, like for example, you know, got a dis decent level of, of resistance there, then maybe you're going to look into take targets there if it fits in with the parameters, the risk order ratio. But you really want to look for three times that stop because the beauty of this trade is the stop is relatively tight because unless you've got a really crazy whip to the downside which you probably wouldn't take anyway you normally only going to penetrate it very very um small amount in the morning often as well so you get a morning penetration through the low comes back up closes at highs you've got a nice little edge there because if you're especially if you're taking from a day trade perspective you get a 15 minute close above it Yes, it might well stop you out, many do will stop you out later in the day, but the risk order ratio is quite good because actually what happens is then it closes at highs and does that green candle. Let's say you've managed to get here on a 15 minute close. You've already got your kind of risk covered. And if you wanted to, obviously you can take half the position off and cover that risk straight away. And then you can develop it into a swing trade looking for many multiples of the risk. Or if you're a pure, pure swing trader, of course you take up the close, your stock's gonna be much wider. But if you haven't got the juice in, in the deal, if you think you still got the juice in the deal, you've got potentially moved to highs or whatever it may be, or perhaps you're bullish for you know old time highs or whatever the scenario is, then it stops in a nice framed condition. And I like things like this, guys. Those of you who know, have kind of followed the channel a bit or you're on the program, you know that 
I don't mind, I like a lot of setups as long as there is a really good way of framing the trade. And what I mean by framing a trade is a very distinct and obvious place for a stop. Because the thesis of this trade is simple. It's, we think that this market will reverse because it's tested lows, it's failed, it's stopped a lot of people out who are long, that's why it's the fake out. It's looked to lows, haven't found the additional sellers, it's rotated back up. And we, our thesis is that that is the low, and the thesis will be broken if we break through that low again. So it's a very, very simple thesis. So the stop's a very obvious position. There's no need to be adding to it. There's no need to be kind of judging when the pullback's going to end. It's, hey, we think it's ended and it hasn't ended if it breaks through this low. And we take the trade and we look for a continuation to the upside. So very simple trade, guys. MP fake out reversal setup for swing traders. But of course, if you're a day trader, you're trading a more active time frame. You can trade that and literally just trade it and close it on the closing bell or whatever market you're trading. Look to hold it for day two or day three if you're trading Forex, of course. Then you've got the luxury of being able to trade uh, throughout the evening apart from the weekends. So you can run it, trail it, move a stop up, tighten the stop up, see if the trailer goes, see if you get that little push to the high side over a two or three day period. Anyway, guys, take care, keep the risk manager, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.